4v3v1. Alright. Uh, I think I take the Omu. But Reno Jax is really fun too. I, mean, I think like the difference is probably a lot, a lot higher with the Omu. I don't really feel confident doing uh, Reno. Because I think a lot of times with Reno, you want to hero power the, the Cadgar. And I don't think I have the... I don't think I have the ability to pull it off right now with the lag I have it between every action. <laughs> yeah, I might be. I might be the lowest MR player in that lobby. I don't think so though, with the minus 110. I think there was actually one lobby. The one lobby that I played um, that was against the groups. It was like Taisama, Taisama Squad, and Zixo was in that game too. XQN, Dog Biscuit. I think like at least half of that that lobby was uh, was the front page of the leaderboards, and then like the other people were at least like 13k plus. That was a that was a really crazy lobby. And I managed to cheese out a bunch of people with the uh, with Cadgar. Pirates one. Don't know what that means. Do I really want to buy this? I think I'd rather just like roll and try to freeze for a good shop or see a good shop at least. This is acceptable. Yeah, I'll just take two dragons. I think it's it's okay. What card did I say I wanted to Reno? Cadgar. If you can really Cadgar with uh, tokens, you can pop off and, uh, and just win the game really easily with a bunch of five or six drops. It's just that it's very mechanically hard to do it. And when I have delay between actions, um, there's like no way I feel confident pulling it off and correctly. Oh yeah, Octopus? Uh, so that makes sense then, right? So, 100 MMR for wins or losses if the if the MR is the the same. If you're like close to the same uh, MR as everyone else, I think that checks out. Wait, so then, I guess, um, theoretically, you should be able to calculate what the average MMR of the lobby is based off your placement. So when I was, um, when I was, um, in NA, and I was climbing to get number one, I was getting, like, 50 or 60 points for a win. Given that you know what my MMR is at the start of the game, and you have seven unknowns with everyone else, um, you should be able to add that all up, right? And then... I guess like extrapolate from the, the 50 points gained from first, you should kind of know what it is if you, I don't know, if you kind of calculate it all through. I mean, the more I talk about it, I don't think anyone really wants to do that, nor is it too useful. I think theoretically, like if you had enough data points, um, like if you had enough, uh, maybe enough lobbies where it's like a squad of four versus a squad of four, you know everyone's MMR, um, you could technically calculate. I don't know, it. you could calculate it, but why? Why would you want to do that? I don't have a good answer for that. Uh, 
I'm not gonna greed for a uh, five or anything. I'm just gonna take it. It's too awkward for me to, to do something there. Alright, I'm gonna take the money over the imp gang boss, even though it's theoretically better. Hey, Dondo Time. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a good weekend. Level sell 2 4 and get a 5 was too bold. Maybe that wasn't too bold. <laughs> and then have two minions, right? And then I guess like early Brand or Malbear would be good direction. Yeah, I could see that. I'm like kind of planning to just not not take too much damage and then just level up to to five naturally, but. That's like the high risk, high reward play to get it like a lot earlier than everyone else. Uh, like if I hit the the nutty cards like Bran and I guess Hogger or Maw Bear, it would work out a lot of the time. I like tend to not not want to make those plays though and make myself too too weak at these points in the game because I never know if like I I'm gonna need that that life later on. This is bad. So bad. Uh, I don't want to buy the two and freeze, because I don't. I don't want to buy those really bad minions. If they're like really economically um, safe minions, like I guess one of them is a token. But if they're like both free deal and gamblers, I would not hesitate to just uh, just buy and freeze. If I was the Bonobo, do it. Uh, I'm gonna need to... I'm just gonna keep playing my, my copyright few free uh, music track for now. There's no max, so like, I don't even want to stay in this tier. This is the cat. This might be kind of a lot... It might be kind of greedy for me to level up here, honestly. Definitely don't feel that safe doing it with this crappy set of cards but like there's not that many good cards that I want either which is the the main problem here I might just do it anyways and just not respect this, uh, this player Okay, so now I'm uh, I'm really banking on hitting this this triple uh, beast, getting Battlemaster, getting Bran, getting Razor Uh I need to hit one of those things early though. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not doing very well today. I know, but it's it's a cat. I don't know. They they probably have the juggler package and they're gonna they're gonna stomp me. No, they don't. But they have, they have really big uh, demons here. Okay, that doesn't make me feel much better. I should stop into Among Us for viewers. Not today. Not today. It's like usually how my streaming schedule works is I am dead tired at the end of the week, which is Friday, which is today. And I am indeed dead tired. 
and then I need to I need to like sleep in really late on Saturday. And then Saturday is when I, I sometimes have energy if I get enough sleep. So if I was gonna do it, it'd be uh, it'd be that day. It takes no brain power to like learn a new game. <laughs> I really don't want to take these cards. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm just dead already. Shit. I don't even know. <laughs> this is so bad. I didn't consider the bear in there at all. Uh, I considered a little bit. I think like it'd just be for the the gas coiler, but maybe just for the gas coiler was enough. Like it definitely was better than a lot of other things I picked up this turn. It's like maybe I should have considered it a lot more. It's like I guess a little bit a little bit hesitant because uh, I had the beast, but it really doesn't matter with the beasts. Cause I have the gas core. Like the gas core makes it makes it worth it. Oh, if I can find a brand, I can pull Murlocs out of nothing. It doesn't let you claim the banana. Yeah, cause uh, someone already claimed it, and I, I ate my banana. It's, it's limited to one banana per stream. Okay, it's probably too late for this. I'm in like survival mode. This guy is tier six. Yikes. Very yikes. What like what is it that I'm looking for though? I guess Bran. Very very heavily looking for Bran here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't really know. Uh, move this here, here. I don't know. Not, not the best positioning. Maybe not the best freeze too. I probably could just like boss in there. <laughs> Do all that. It's just not enough. Still, feels really bad. It's enough to live. <sighs> you would have gone for Mogadons? You'd probably be dead.
up now, later. No, now. Why did you leave her? I don't want to talk about it. I do. Can't you let me hold on to some pride? I lost all my with you. Alright, I'm in this game again. Whew. That was pretty sick. I mean, definitely could have executed it better, but... I mean, I played to the out of this. Yeah, I have all these poisons, I have these minions, I need to find like selfless now. It's more, more jug and stuff. I have this Murloc too, so I can bind another Toxfin and get rid of Brand if I need to, to survive. What's everyone else doing? They're Murlocs. They're probably like really sick. Like I'm sure they have, uh, they've been like cycling out Primal from Lookout or Urpa Gurgle. That's usually what that means. Anyways, I just have to like outstab people. That's, that's all I can do. Uh, pirates, they're not... They, they probably didn't scale up too hard. If they get a triple here though, I'm gonna have to be concerned. But otherwise I kinda wanna level up here. Like I should be big enough. Yeah, I mean, I think if they didn't get one at this point, they probably don't have one. What do they do? They took 12. I could have sold this earlier, I don't think it's like that big of a deal. Ooh, more Malgadon. Not Malgadon, but I have Toxin now. Uh, I probably just don't take Toxin, I think I just I just keep this stuff. Or the plan is I like I just hold it for later, because I don't need it right now. I need it like another time. I think the plan is I sell this, play this, sell this, buy this, have this up front, and then these there, and then, yeah, if I play against one of the scary players, I'm just gonna sell off these two, I'm gonna play Murkai, Toxfin, and then replace this with something, something else. What did Pagel get me? I mean, I thought Pagel just got me like two gold. It didn't get me like a lookout or anything insane, right? Pagel got me Primal Fin? Did it really? Oh, wait. Okay, I know it gave me the 2 3. Man, I'm so ungrateful. I was like, Pagel does all these good things to me, and I never give it any credit. I was like, oh wait, I just thought I found that naturally. It was a. Okay. <laughs> right, right. Uh, yeah. I was like, oh, I just thought I, I just had a lookout. Yeah, I'm so ungrateful. Does this even matter? It, it kind of does matter if I find like another Toxfin, right? Does it? Like, do I really care about the stats? I feel like at this point, he probably outstabbed me a lot harder. I think I need to pass on that. And look specifically for Ghoul or Malgadon. Or Nadina. Oh, there's the there's that thingy. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's really really good. Okay, so uh, these two can leave now. This is in. This is Toxfin. This is here. Uh, what do I want to do? It's kind of awkward because like I really want um I really want to attack this first because they're gonna put a bumper up front. So I need to put this up front and this here, and then just hope like my my thing gets the attack first, and then place it like this. Yeah, let's hope this is enough. And then if I can if I can triple this and maybe find like, maybe if these are big enough, I can keep them. If they're not big enough, they need to be replaced with poison too. I feel like turn twelve. It depends on how hard they high rolled. 
Like, did they hire all brand Burgergle that much, or no? They didn't. They didn't hire all super hard. They did hire all hard, but not not too hard. Oh, come on, come on! Don't do that! Don't do that! Uh, these are clearly not big enough, though. So I need to find poison against them. I mean, if I can't kill this, I might lose. But uh, I killed it. Nice. Um, and then yeah, I'm probably like good against them too. But we'll see. You gotta play against them now. Zap would be really good. I could swap out something for Zap. Do they have a Malgadon? No. They had Lookout though. I think I want to spend one gold for that. I still am not like too sure what I'm replacing anyways though. Do I even think that they're the... Do I even think this is useful? Like it's kind of a gamble whether or not it's useful. Like it's yeah, it's just like really hard for me to to make use of it. Okay, if I can find a my ex now, I can get rid of this. Uh, I could even get this now. I don't I don't think it's worth it. Screw it. Um, I think I'll do the same thing where I put this up front and this here. If I need cleave protection, I, I I can't reasonably play around cleave. I'm just gonna try something like this. Good luck, me. So ideally, like another, I need Baron or I need um, my excellence instead of this for the last fight. Please let me hit first for once. Damn. I mean, it's still. It's a really really high percentage for me to win this because he doesn't have cleave. And I think this is still big enough a lot of the time. It just depends. Where does this one hit? Uh, okay, I mean I still win. It's just yeah, we got we got we got a ways to go though. And if they ever find cleave and they're the victor, I'm gonna be screwed because I can't I can't buff up my my stuff high enough. But I should be good against like them though. And I'm definitely good against this player. So let me just roll hard for um, for the stuffs. Do I want another? Do I want Argus? If I buy Argus, then I I can uh, put this like later, because then they don't always bump it off. I think like it's it's pretty useful. And I don't need this, so yeah, I'm just gonna wait like this then. <laughs> yeah, I don't like these really long games. It's uh, it's pretty stressful. <laughs> I guess Zap is Zap would have been good against them too, but it's more of a gamble to take it because sometimes it's not good. When they put around it. They're like they're less of a Baron comp. They're they're mostly a double Amalgadon Nadina comp. And if they hit the nuts here, they could beat them too, because it might be the case that Janus is a little bit too tunnel vision and getting stats, and not finding the tech cards they need. Like the 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 look for stats was like it's been passed a long time ago like stats were irrelevant like three three turns ago so they needed to look for better stuff and they still have six murlocs so it believes me to think that they're probably gonna lose and then i'm gonna play against them again i just need to hope they don't find hydra I guess like I could technically, if I wanted to, I could maybe tech ghoul too, since I have the Argus as well. It depends on what they have though. They still have five beasts, so that's still their same comp of like Nadina, Ban Rivendare, and Macaw. It'd be nice to have like Wind Fury on, uh, on Melgadon for that matchup too. No! Oh my god, this game. It can't keep going, huh? <laughs> I don't want to play this anymore. Shit. 
shit. Like, I don't think I can actually make an improvement this uh, this turn. The only improvement was maybe picking that selfless, but I was trying to roll harder for something better. Maybe I should have just taken the selfless. I don't know. I'm sure, like, this is probably fine enough to, to beat them, but it's probably not good enough to kill them. And then we're going to have to keep facing off. And it's going to be, like, who can who can find the most Amalgadons, Nadinas, and, like, selfless heroes. And right now, I'm kind of behind in that aspect because I only have one Amalgadon. I do have this, though. But I don't have like full poison, so yeah, it's kind of rough. Okay, they they didn't do anything. They they're still buying stats, which of course is good against the other player. It's not good against me. But, okay, maybe, maybe I just kill him here. Maybe we do kill him. I, I think I needed to put this farther back to kill him more often. And that was like a, a little bit of a mistake. Because I don't have enough, right? This is still, it's still gotta go on. But, will they realize it? Will they realize that they need to, they need to stop buying, like, the Murloc buffs? I don't know. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I hope they don't realize it. Yeah, imagine if like this was here instead. I don't know. I I, I could have optimized my, my damage there. Alright, I found the Maxna. So this would be good against the other player, but not necessarily good against them. So maybe maybe I'll keep my positioning for another turn and then just just hope this is enough to beat them. Oh man, this sucks. This sucks so much. I think the good thing at least is there's no way for them to find uh, Divine Shield on the Amalgadons unless they triple Amalgadon because there's no there's no mechs. So I can always have this up front and just hope I win the 50-50. And then like just I just had hope they don't have cleave. <laughs> That's it. That's all I can do. But cleave cleave destroys me. The only thing I can do against cleave is maybe like move these far apart like like this. So maybe the cleave isn't big enough to kill off these two, but it's big enough to kill off these two. But like, I think I need to keep this in round for uh, this player. This depends. Maybe maybe I'm supposed to sell it off. I think like it might be it might be better than the two eight for now. I don't know how how much they stat it up, but I'm gonna be really sad if I get third place this game after all that I I just did. Okay, still 90%. Um, okay, I think we got him every single time here then. Wait, this is this is not a good comp. <laughs> I, I guess, okay, maybe... I don't know, it's it's not good. It's just not good. <laughs> you don't have selflesses, you have like two Nadina Maka and two Amalgadons, but one of the Amalgadons is taunted up. <laughs> it's, not, it's not what they need to beat me. Probably could have rolled so I can find uh, the things more. Anyways, that's that's fine. So that would be a throw if I take that, right? I shouldn't take it. I'm just gonna buy the stats because maybe they'll matter a little bit here.
All right, this should be this should be enough. Let's see. So I'm protecting this cleave, um, and I have like yeah, I just have a lot. So I have this extra taunt too. So if they go first and they like try to bump this off, they'll fail uh, if they hit this one, and then I might get like divine shield value off that. I may have needed to taunt up a bigger one than this though, because maybe they have like a a nine plus attack minion that doesn't have poison. Like I don't know. I mean, they they're doing this stuff. It's like it's completely useless. Don't do this. Like. They still have brand on their board. What are they doing? You're not supposed to do that. You need to you need to get rid of the brand. Like really, like a long, long time ago. But yeah, I don't know. Um, See, so yeah, like I I got rid of the the brand a really long time ago. I looked specifically for the cards I needed, which were Selfless and some other stuff. I think like I passed the Baron really early on too. I think it was too early for me to take Baron at that point. Uh, but I could have taken that risk too, like to try to try to get that to work off. Like Golden Selfless Baron would be better than what I did there at the end. It could have replaced like a Maya there. And then I could have had a, a slightly better comp there. 